Congrats first off, and uh, as soon as you're ready, we'll start. Thank you. Let's get this started. Shut up. <laughs> Not you. I got you. All right, we'll start off with uh, Cooper Moorhead, heat.com. Go ahead. Jimmy, congratulations on the new deal. Appreciate you. Um, you know, Kyle had mentioned that you've been kind of on him for a while to try and team up a little bit. So what was your reaction when he finally told you that was going to happen and, and how much you're looking forward to playing with him? Uh, obviously excited and, and happy about it. Um, kind of bummed that we had to give up, you know, the guys we had to give up. A lot of love and respect for those guys, um, Goran and uh, Precious, obviously. But I'm excited to get started. You know, he, he let me know what was going on. Couldn't wait to get to work. Obviously, I'm talking to him about, you know, our friendship, our kids and all of that first. And then basketball always seems to um, find its way in there. But I'm glad I got my my guy here with me. And if I could if I could just follow up real fast, you guys are adding quite a lot of defensive talent. I'm just curious as to what you what you kind of see the this team's defense looking like for the next year. Um, elite, hopefully. Uh, I think a lot of guys are, are really locked in on that side of the ball now. So we better be able to really stop some guys, some teams from scoring. Um, I look forward to that. Um, obviously, we got some guys that can put the ball in the basket. We've never had a lack of that. Um, but now we got some guys that want to stop the opposing team from putting the ball in the basket. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, up next, we have Brendan Tobin, 790 to ticket. Go ahead. Hey, Jimmy, uh, congratulations on the deal. Um, you've obviously had a really hell of a start to your Heat career. What was the process of, I guess, the summer and deciding that, yeah, I want to definitely lock into this franchise for a while? Uh, it was easy. They allowed me to uh, to be me here. Um, they love who I am as a person, as a player. Um, I love the guys that I get the opportunity to, to play with, hoop with, and um, I think we're going to be a really good team moving forward. You know, we're consistently getting better, um, you know, adding young guys, getting the right amount of bets to put us over that hump and win the championship. Um, they believe in myself, um, Bam, and um, all the guys they've put around us. So, you know, I'm back at it and, and ready to take our chances. All right, up next, we have Cristo Saltas, SDNA Greece. Go ahead. Hello, Jimmy. How are you? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. What is the most impressive part for you about the heat of the next season, the roster of the next season, and what it means for you to represent the Miami Heat? Uh, it means everything to me to represent this organization. Um, all the great players that have, that have been here, the ones that are here and um, are going to continue to be better slash more great, if that's a real thing. And um, I'm excited about this upcoming season. Uh, all the new pieces that we have, we get the opportunity to, to show that even though we haven't played with each other for that long, um, good basketball players find a way to play good basketball. Um, we have a lot of those type of guys on the team. So um, I look forward to, you know, going into training camp and uh, in the ground running whenever that time gets here. And the follow-up about Kyle Lowry, how excited you are to play alongside him? Very much so. Um, he's been a very good friend of mine for years and years now. It's not just basketball between me and him, or between myself and so many of my teammates past um, and present. Uh, so it's great to have like a genuine friend that you can have the tough conversations with. I'm going to tell him the truth. He's going to tell me the truth. And uh, more than anything, he's a Miami Heat guy too. Thank you very much. All right, up next we have Clayton Ferraro, WPLG. Go ahead. Hey, Jimmy, congratulations once again. I you know, I, I think there's this feeling that that Riley, Pat Riley's kind of put this team together somewhat in your image. Guys who are, are dogs, guys who who play the game the right way and work. What does that mean to you to have the organization? What, first, would you agree with that? And secondly, what does it mean to you to have an organization kind of devoted to you in that way? Um, it means a lot, but I won't say that this team is devoted to me. Um, we got Bam, too, and I think these guys are a, a lot like Bam um, in a sense that they play so hard. They do so many things well, and above all else, they just want to win. Um, I just happen to, to fit that mold as well. Um, 
And it's it's very exciting that Pat sees that that's the type of guys he wants to put around. Um, for sure, Bam, um, myself, Kyle now, like everybody that we have, um, that's the way we go about it. Uh, it's very, very exciting. Um, I'm excited to get all of these guys together and um, see what we can make happen. All right, up next, we have Shannon Irish, DTV. Go ahead. Hi, Jimmy. Nice to virtually see you again. Oh. Um, a little off topic. I just want to ask you about the commercial that you made with Bam over the summer for the Jungle Cruise, how that was, how much fun you guys had, and uh, how excited you were to see the final product when it came out. Uh, it was hella fun uh, being able to spend, you know, a little bit of time with Bam, not basketball, not during the season, and uh, see his fashion take a, a step up, see his acting, um, and just how fun he was having out there. I think it's been a, a big summer for him, um, for his brand, and for his legacy um, when it comes to basketball. Obviously, winning the gold medal is huge, but um, I think he's slowly, surely becoming a household name. Thanks, Jimmy. All right, up next, all the way from Tokyo, is Tim Reynolds. Go ahead. Jimmy, I, Jimmy, I can't remember if this is your second or your third max. When when you get to this point where you don't, where you where you're set general weight generationally, I guess where does the motivation, the fire, still come from? Um, that I still love the game. I still love to work. Um, it's it's never about money. I think after my first max deal, I knew I was going to be good for a very long time. Um, my kid slash kids um, will be good for a very long time. Uh, my family, my guys, um, everybody I'm around, they're going to be good for a very long time. So it's never about money for myself, for us, for my crew. It's, it's always about waking up and going to work, smiling, enjoying life. Uh, that's, that's it. That's where I get my, I don't know, Will, why, however you want to put it. I just love the work. And you know, I mean, we're the, literally, they just got the medals like 45 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. um, you know what that moment's like. What what can this experience do for Bam? Uh, it solidifies him as a big part of basketball history because not many people get the opportunity to do that. But now you know um, how good you really are playing with the best players in the world. Um, so you see the way that they work, you see the way they go about everything. Um, so he gets to, you know, come back to this organization and, and still even more of that, uh, more than he already has. I think for him, it's good to know that, yo, look, I was playing with the best. I held my own and I did my part to help us win gold. Thank you. All right up next, Barry Jackson, Miami Hero, go ahead. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, do you want to finish your career here? It would seem that way with the length of this deal. And also, at what point in the last year did you sort of have a quiet moment with yourself and thought, I think I want to do that. I think I want to finish with my career here. I'm ready to convey that to Pat and to Bernie Lee. Uh, that was well before this year. This was during my first year here. Just the amount of fun that we had, um, you know, the coaching staff, um, Coach Pat, Andy, like, Everybody just rock with one another here um, and they're not uh, afraid to butt heads and have the hard conversations, make sure that everybody's playing their role and playing it to the T at that. Um, it's a place for me, you know, my, my teammates, they allow me to be me. Um, I think whenever I'm, I'm wrong, they're going to tell me when I'm wrong. When I'm right, they're probably still going to tell me that I'm wrong, but uh, I love them for that. And it's a blessing to be able to to represent this organization, to play alongside um, these guys, play for Coach Pat, Coach Bo. Um, I think it's, a, it's just an overall blessing. It is. Thanks, Jimmy. Congratulations. Thank you. And we'll bring back Brendan Tobin from 790 again. Yeah, Jimmy, um, obviously you get a guy like Kyle Lowry, you have to give up something good. Uh, Goran Dragic, your guys' relationship on the court and off the court, everybody loved watching. Um, so what do, did you guys talk to each other when this was all going down? What were those conversations like? And what are you going to remember about playing with Goron? Uh, man, just how, how fun he made the game. 
how easy he made the game and how he wanted everybody to be successful, man. Um, he's a he's a winner through and through. Um, his English is getting much, much better. Um, but he taught me so much about Slovenia, so much about his family, so much about being a father um, that I'm forever grateful for. Basketball, I know what he brings to the table, um, but this relationship will continue to grow. I still owe him a trip to Slovenia. I didn't get to go uh, this summer, but it seems like we're always on FaceTime in the summer anyways. It was one of the hardest FaceTimes I've had doing a long time to have to say that like we won't be teammates anymore, but um, I wish him the best. Um, if he is uh, on the opposing team, I'm calling him up in the switch. I'm going to post him up. I'm going to run him over. I'm going to get an offensive foul. I'm going to sit the ball down right next to him. But it's like, I love you. You're not on my team anymore. All right, Jimmy, that's it. Thank you, and uh, congrats again. All right.